Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In November 2020, Indian Navy had leased two MQ-9 UAVs to enhance its surveillance capability over the Indian Ocean region. The MQ-9s have also been deployed near LSE when the Indo-China standoff was at its peak. The Indian Navy used MQ-9 drones and Boeing PTI multi-mission aircraft to scan the entire 3044km line of actual control with China to understand the military preparation made by PLA. Now this has given the Indian military a clear idea of Chinese army's plans and capabilities. On November 22, 2022, the 2MQ-9 RPA that was on lease has completed its 10,000 flight hours in exactly two years with maiden flight of MQ-9A taking place on 21st November 2020. The armed forces are impressed with MQ-9's over-the-horizon ISR support for surface troops and Indian warship as well as platform's remarkable endurance and operational availability. The UAV was initially leased for a year but has been extended subsequently. Now, currently, Indian Navy uses MQ-9 RPA for maritime surveillance from the Gulf of Aden to Sunda Strait in Indonesia. These RPAs have helped Indian Navy to cover over 14 million square miles of operating area with its wide range of sensors, high endurance and low operating cost, the MQ-9 can prove to be a complementary system for navies, air force and army operating as a maritime patrol aircraft or for the border surveillance. Though some national security planners feel that the Predator arm drone is prohibitively expensive and find US-made Boeing PTI aircraft sufficient for the job. However, Indian military war planners want a mix of both armed and surveillance drone for country-specific missions. We also know that the operational cost of MQ-9 RPA is much less than that of PTIs. Till March 2022, the PTIs were able to accumulate 35,000 flight hours since they were inducted in the year 2013. However, only two MQ-9 UAVs have accumulated 10,000 flight hours in just two years. So if Navy goes ahead with procurement of these RPAs, it will greatly boost its maritime surveillance capabilities. As per the reports from Wall Street Journal, India is close to approved deal for MQ-9B drones. New Delhi had originally planned to buy 30 drones for roughly $3 billion. The number could be lowered to be between 18 and 24 after a recent assessment by a panel consisting of representatives of all three military branches. The acquisition needs to go ahead from two government committees, one headed by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and other by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Ahead of the anticipated deal, General Atomics has inked deal with Indian companies in recent month. The HAL will provide maintenance, repair and overhaul services for the drone's engine. The American company and Indian conglomerate Bharat Forge will jointly manufacture some of its landing gear components and other small parts. At the same time, the National Technical Research Organization NTRO, which is a technical intelligence agency under National Security Advisory in Prime Minister's office, will soon acquire eight Indian manufactured male, that is medium attitude, long endurance drones for border surveillance and reconnaissance. This is most likely going to be tapas under development by ADE and HAL. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.